Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors, and today I want to talk about generators. Now, the old T-types are called dynamos, but a dynamo, a generator, it's the same thing. It's here. Well, actually, it's together, but um, I've taken it apart so I can show you the two big component pieces before I reassemble it and show you how it works. First of all, on the outside, there's, a, there's what's called the field coils. You can see inside, Danny can t take a look inside here, you can see that there are the, the, uh, the two coils on the inside of the um, field coil housing. And I'm going to take, I've got my uh, handy dandy uh, battery here, and I'm going to hook this thing up. You can see that that's got quite a spark to it there. Whoops! Okay, we're just hooked up to our battery. And if I grab my screwdriver and grab a hold of this magnet, that's a pretty good that's a pretty good pull here on the on the magnet. This has really got quite a. And if I disconnect it, of course, I can move it very easily. But once I hook it up, there's quite a lot of magnetic force between these two poles, and these are wound around like this, and then up top. And whether you hook positive to here and negative to here gives you north and south or if you hook negative to here and positive to here you got south and north so you can change the polarity of the way the generator works simply by energizing the the uh, field in opposite directions which is what you do when you polarize it so that's the field now here's the armature the armature and brushes now the armature has got 28 segments here along the side here with a couple of wires wound around each one and each time it comes around and hits the brush uh, then we we complete a circuit and each time it moves one fourteenth uh, of a of a turn uh, we snap some lines of force here on the uh, on the magnet and we induce a, uh, a little bit of voltage into the armature which is picked off by the brushes one of the brushes goes right to ground the other brush comes up to this isolated terminal here, which is the D terminal, D for dynamo. So what goes wrong? Well, let's start here. Hardly anything goes wrong with this guy. Sometimes he shorts. So, you know, you can, you can check him here. Uh, which wire is which here? Uh, we have a, a completed circuit here. Um, there's a, there's a, a winding at the top and a winding at the bottom. And we've got uh, we we've, we've got this guy. You know he's going halfway through. If this piece of wire goes too far, sometimes you'll touch a screw, and only one half of the magnet gets energized. But boy, those are pretty weird. Almost almost always the field coils are okay. So then then we have the the armature, and the armature is what goes bad almost all the time, unless it's the brushes. Now here are some real crummy brushes. And these are really worn down. Danny can zoom in on these. See, these are almost all worn out, those, those brushes. And I've got some here that are in pretty good shape, which we'll uh, see if we can get out of here. Can show you what some good brushes lo look like. And we also have uh, considerations when we're rebuilding a generator. We have the considerations of the, uh, the bearing in the front and the brushes in the rear. Um, the bearing in the front and the bush in the rear, rather. So here's our bearing in the front. That's just a common 9309. I think that's the standard number. You can drill out the rivets, tap those 1032, put a new bearing in. It's easy enough to press this in and out. On the back side here, if you're trying to take the bushing out, I already have this prepared. Here's an 11 16 18 tap, and you put that down inside the bushing and turn it and turn it and turn it and finally the tap bottoms out on the inside of the housing and as you continue to turn it draws it draws the, the bushing back out so that's how you get the bushing out of the back the brushes are easily changed here's a full-size brush here in marked contrast to the to the uh, very worn brush here All right so you can you can fit the the new brushes with no no problem at all and we have to set these up on the side here just a little bit to get them out of the way now let's go ahead and assemble this guy oh I forgot here's our growler now you don't have this at home probably this growler but he's called a growler because that's what he does well that's what he's supposed to do 
So here's our growler that the split in the film was because I couldn't get the growler to turn on. Here's my uh, old piece of metal here that you use to feel each of the segments on here and see if it's magnetic. If the um, armature is faulty, then you get a certain amount of magnetism that, that, that comes through here. Of course, you don't have a growler at home, and uh, about the only thing you can do at home is just check the armature for for, uh, let me get my wires hooked up here. I pulled them off when I was getting so excited before. So uh, here's our test our test light. If we, if we test against here, we can see that, of course, metal to metal, that's, that's hot, that's hot. But up to the commutator segments, it's not hot. So the commutator segments are not shorted to ground, and they shouldn't be. So let's take, uh, let's take this guy and put him back together here. We've got some alignment pins on the side. You've got to get those lined up correctly. And uh, let me put the back on here. I'm only going to, just for time, because we're eating up into our uh, amazing amount of time here, uh, I'll just put one, one screw in here and see if I can get him to catch. And that'll be good enough to hold him snugly enough for us. Remember that these bushings in the rear are oil light bushings and you should soak them in oil for a couple of days before you fit, uh, before you fit the, the bushing. So here's our guy here. Now we're going to have to, remember we had our brushes, we pushed our brushes up out of the way, so I'm just fiddling around with the brushes right now to make sure those are seated. Come on, there's one, and maybe we'll get the other one in there. There we go. So here we go. We got the Got the generator working. I, I brought by my my uh, voltmeter and I have it on the very lowest setting. And I'm going to put this between my dynamo lead and ground. And if I spin this, you can see that there is nary, nary a flick of the needle here. But if we take some leads and energize our field coil as as what happens when the car is running and we energize our field coil well we'll try to energize our field coil again here see if this is going to work well now you know this is just like most demonstrations and it's fighting me at each step here and I'm worried about all the time that we're going on eBay there we go all right now let's watch the needle here whoops Look at that. Each time we turn it, every fourteenth of a turn, it flicks, okay, and we get some electricity out of it. So if we're turning it fast enough, we start to get a steady stream of electricity. So this is the generator. It turns motion, turns motion into electricity. It does it by by using magnetic coils on the outside, um, unlike your generator on your bicycle, which has got fixed magnets. You know, and the faster you ride, the brighter the light gets. Um, this uses uh, um, electromagnets in the field. It's got an armature. It's a pretty durable unit. If the fan belt is too tight up here, it wears the bushing out and back. Notice that it says oil right here in the back. That's one of the unusual tattoos I saw once with a dot here and a little word, a little arrow, and it said oil on the guy's knuckle. Anyway, it does say this here. So. Anyway, this is our uh, demonstration about generators, dynamos. You can re rebuild them at home. Uh, they're pretty easy to do. If you have any questions or problems, you can always call during tech time. If you've got an original generator or starter you want to have us restore, you know, because it's got the original build date on it from Lucas, please send it. You know, we're always desperate for business in the fall and winter. Anyway, thanks very much for, for uh, watching and send us some notes. See you guys later.